U.S. President Donald Trump marks his first month in office on Monday, and it has been an, an unpredictable roller coaster ride of, claim, of claims and counterclaims between the president and the international community, the American public, and most of all, the media. Still, Mr. Trump is declaring his presidency an early success in bringing change to Washington. VOA national correspondent Jim Malone reports from Washington. President Trump offered a fulsome defense of his first month in office at his recent news conference, where he also displayed his now familiar combative side with reporters. I'm making this presentation directly to the American people with the media present, which is an honor to have you. This morning, because many of our nation's reporters and folks will not tell you the truth. It was an extraordinary moment for a new president, blasting the media for not giving him enough credit for what he described as the significant progress his administration has already made, despite inheriting what Trump called a mess. So I know when you're telling the truth or when you're not. I just see many, many untruthful things. And I'll tell you what else I see. I see tone, you know, the word tone. The tone is such hatred. I'm really not a bad person, by the way. Trump remains on the defensive over relations with Russia in the wake of his firing of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Congressional Democrats are demanding a broad investigation of any contacts between the Trump campaign and Russia. Democratic Representative Elijah Cummings invoked a question with echoes of the Watergate scandal that eventually brought down President Richard Nixon in 1974. What did the president know and when did he know it? And so I believe we need to hold a public hearing with Flynn to get to the bottom of this. I want to find a friendly reporter. Trump's feisty encounter with the press spurred fresh concerns among critics. Many of Trump's earliest congressional supporters say their constituents are sticking with the president, including Representative Chris Collins of New York. His supporters know that he's delivering. So uh, I know we're very comfortable here that th this president's approval rating is sky high, frankly. Supporters and critics alike are still trying to figure Trump out, says Republican strategist John Fury. It's not clear to me whether this is part of a concerted strategy or it's just who he is. It's also not clear if he's going to settle down or if this is the new normal that we all have to acclimate ourselves with. Clearly, he's not a typical politician. Clearly, he's not a typical president. Uh, the voters seem to want someone who's not a typical president. They wanted to upset the status quo, and they got what they, they, they asked for. Even though he's now president, Trump often seems content to remain in campaign mode, says media analyst Stephen Roberts. The difficulty is that there's an enormous difference between being a candidate and being a president. Uh, and to try to apply the attitudes and the um, uh, verbal attacks that are common in a campaign to a president is very, very different. Uh, Just one month in, Trump's combative style remains intact. A new so president who seems to expect Washington to adjust to him and his leadership style and not the other way around. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.